now. All right. Hey, we are Doggo Express. We are dog people for dog people. Uh, next slide. Um, the problem we are trying to solve is oh, uh, the inability to properly care for your dog due to time constraints. Like when you're not home and you're working um, a job and you just don't have the time to take care of your dog, uh, we will be there. And also finding the right people to take care of your dog. There's a lot of people that you really just can't trust in order to care for your dog. So that's uh, what we are here to solve. Uh, paying for multiple services as well. A lot of the times uh, you want to uh, babysit your dog, but you also want to get the house clean and other stuff like that. So we're here to also solve that problem. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is our company Snapchat. Uh, we have Aaron Moreno, our president of the company. We have Angel Boteo, uh, the CFO of the company. We have Riley Sonderman, the CEO of the company. And we have me, uh, Nathan Hulan, as the CCO of the company. Next slide, please. Um, this is our customer targets. The people affected are usually aged from 25 to 50 year old, male or females. Um, if it was a single income household owning a dog, then it affects them by being busy all the time or not having enough time to take care of their own dog. If they were a dual income household who owned a dog, they are affected by being in and out the house most of the time and are not there enough to watch their dog. They're affected because they don't have time to be in the essential needs for the dog, so they need someone to do it like us. Next slide, please. Um, this is our solution. Uh, we are a comprehensive dog care service that walks dogs, provides doggy daycare, cleans hair and pet odors inside the house, removes poops, Poop on the outside grooms, keeps the owners and their dogs happy. Um, we, like we're the solution, we are Dargo Express and we are the people um, for the dog people. We will take your, great care of your dog as if it were one of ours. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we offer all these services and features that will help you with what you need or your dog needs. Next slide, please. All right, so this is our, our market size. So as of last August, the current amount of dog owners in the city of Chicago are 400,000, according to dnainfo.com. So um, uh, I did my research that there were 400,000 400, dog owners in Chicago. So we plan on moving our business into the city of Chicago and where we um, would like to do that and originate and start it is at Logan Square. Um, estimated about 12,000 dogs, owners around that area. So we believe that would be the best part on our, um, on our part to um, get in customers cause, because there is a lot of um, dog owners in that area, uh, especially in Logan Square, because there is a lot of uh, dog owners. So um, that's where we would originally start our, our company. Next slide, please. Um... We had blue collar uh, dog service and uptown pet service. Um, blue collar pet service has really good pricing. They're very cheap. So instead of using our service, people could go to theirs to um, uh, use their service because it's uh, very inexpensive. And uptown pet service, uh, their website is a lot easier to use but they do not have house cleaning and they're also first come first serve like blue collar dog service. Well, we accept a reservation in our one-stop shop and our, our website is very easy to uh, navigate. And you can also book appointments on our website, even though our pricing is just like Uptown Pet Service, we will give a, um, a better quality. Next please. So for our minimum viable product, our dog walking service was, um, we tested our dog walking service by marketing and recruiting customers and, and then walking dogs 
And unfortunately, we had to cut this short due to the pandemic, but we think it was going to be a success and it was starting to look very successful. So, and then we also created company interviews, which we would highlight all of our services and ask people what they would do and how they would feel about our service. So our, and our key measures were like the number of interviews and the customer contacts and then how likely they were to use our service. Next slide, please. So for our marketing, we had various social media accounts. We had a Facebook page and then we had an Instagram account set up for like business and we also had a Twitter. And then we were planning on making a YouTube, but unfortunately we weren't really able to record videos because we had to cut it short. And then you'd also go do door to door promoting our stuff. And then you would put up flyers and posters around at dog parks, by pet stores, and where else we would think our customers would be likely to be. And then we also used our customer reviews and referrals for our marketing. Next slide, please. Um, so this is our distribution channel. So right here on to your right, looking to the right, um, I did a screenshot of what our Facebook page would look like. So you go ahead and like like the page and um, that right there as, uh, as what Bradley referred back to, we would, uh, if you want to book an appointment, you will call um, the number right there and then that's how you would get in contact with us and how we would um, do our part and like what specifically you want to do with your dog if you want to like um, if you want to just do dog walking we'll just do that so that's the number you'll call um, we also have our Twitter our Instagram and Facebook page right um, as well um, you could always just uh, look us up we're Doggo Express and we are just one call away and as Riley said, unfortunately, we couldn't do our YouTube channel. Uh, it was cut too short, but if this uh, service were to keep going, we would definitely do YouTube channels with like our customers, um, with, the, with their dogs as well, and get a little background on how we would look and share that with the rest of the other uh, customers. Next slide, please. So right here is our financial model. So on my part, what I did, um, I just did all the numbers uh, for our pricing. What we're specifically um, just aiming at is the dog walking. So that right there would just be $25 of the price. Um, our cost of goods uh, would be $15. Our gross profit, we would earn $10. $10. And our gross, prof um, gross profit margin would be 40%. Uh, pricing includes dog walking service, but not does not include grooming and cleaning service. So that would still be a little more for if you want that extra grooming or uh, cleanup service. So just $25 would be the price for the dog walking. And our cost of goods um, sold is our labor. So that would be our part and our uh, employees would just be our labor. All right, uh, next slide, please. And our project uh, revenue units sold for total units uh, 534 uh, would be total revenue 25,810. Uh, total units sold. Uh, this would be each um, month, no, I believe year, that this, that is the total of units sold. So you can see that 534, um, it'd be each month the uh, units sold would be doubling. So you can see right there on how much it went up and how much uh, by the end of the year, our total revenue we've made. Um, for additional cost, our startup, um, what we would just uh, start by um, by paying will obviously be our website development, equipment, warehouse, and building. And if that all goes good, and probably we need to do some minor um, at, um, some minor edits or anything, we would probably fix our website development and equipment just to you know, get the, um, everything just looks better. So we'll, that's what would be our fix up. Uh, next slide, please. So um, just to conclude, 
feel our pro our service is very reliable because we rely on the app and that is very unlikely to have any problems and we'll always be there for the pet owners whenever they need us we're also unique because we are a one-stop shop most dog services are just dog walking or maybe just dog grooming and you can't really get all of them at once so it's really nice with us because you can get it all from the same people and we would also offer bundle deals and then we're also faster because we can get to your house pretty quickly set up an appointment you can do you can set up an appointment in advance or set it up for as soon as possible and we would probably be there within 15 or 30 minutes all right next slide